guys, it is your friend Perp 6 here, and welcome back to another episode of I Love Colonel Sanders KFC cooking dating simulator thing. And I want to first of all apologize for the last episode between the audio from the mic audio and the video slash game audio balance. That was not particularly great. I did fix it for this time, so... We're definitely going to be better in this one. But, yeah, we we left off where Von Von came in. I'm recording this the same day. Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef in the world the world has ever seen. Mm. We should follow our dreams with our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? I think it was Student. Suddenly. Or somewhere in the distance. You hear a long set sigh. Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. What is with the fucking sporks? The spork monster is here to fight a hero. <laughs> ah! It's me. Well, he left the fridge open. <laughs> there, you attacked me well. I'm emotional. God, it's like not the plot of every fucking anime. <laughs> Be afraid. Be afraid of me because I'm a monster. See, I have spores coming out of four ends of me. I'm spooky. Is he rhyming on purpose? But before you can discuss syntax any further, screw it. Drop. That can on purpose of Sprite. It's a turn based fight sequence. What will you do? Oh my god, attack. Which attack will I use? I can only cook with love. Does one damage. Is it effective though? It just got real. Uh oh. That attack really upset Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. You take one damage. You defend. You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Trepidation? You continue to stay back and endure whatever comes your way. Seems like a pretty weird strategy. But okay. Sure. You do you. <laughs> Spork monster focuses their mashed mind and draws in on energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? With an attack, you decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love. It does one damage. Spork monster doesn't quit. Buffed up and ready to rumble, they go on the attack once again. Spork monster uses ulti tensile. You take two damage from the attack. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. That means we must defend. Which defense will you use? Buff up. No one can control this much buffness. You start to feel bloated. And quite frankly, a little gassy. You better attack soon or you're likely to explode. You decide to go on the attack. You chow down. It does two damage. A powerful blow. Spork monsters oozing cheese sauce onto the lawn of the quad. I wonder who's going to have to clean that up. Feeling vulnerable. Spork monster prepares for its ultimate attack. Rounded edge. Vile villain, you reign of terror stops here. 
Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. Pot Pie Power Pinch! Pot Pie Power Pinch does 10 damage. Spork Monster is defeated. Kiss my ass. You saved me and my ass, bro. Thank you, Colonel. An injured Spork Monster spews steam into the night. Finish him! No student will ever walk the quad in fear again. The monster messed with the wrong chef. Attack! You'll never survive my... You'll never survive my student debt. <laughs> it does 10 damage. Oh my god. Colonel Sanders looks on and all. You continue to surprise me. Kiss my ass, bro. The defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but on closer inspection, it's much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed it is Borco. Hey! That is like my nickname, actually. Like, no joke. Orko, that name sounds strangely strange. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hand. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world... <laughs> the image of Colonel Sanders slashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home in your tired state. You don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. Just what a, what a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you were tucked in tightly. Good night, my colonel. My sweet colonel. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. There's Clank. I love Clank, bro. Clank is awesome. You will wake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories? Or premonitions? And then, there's a secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. Up with your bestie in front of the school before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster she launches into a story of her own okay i know this might sound a bit strange but i think i might be um <laughs> like 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 him or like him like do you like like clank or do you just like clank you know because if you like like him then we can talk if you just like him then you need help because you gotta like like clank because Clank is the best, and he's a legend. You gotta like like him. All right, I I like like I don't know what to say because I didn't press the next like storyboard yet, and I already predicted what the fuck Kiss My Ass was gonna say next. So like him. Like, 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 really? Like, oh my god. I know, it sounds like it's moving. Yeah, you like, like him. Why are you giving me that face? Stop blinking at me, it's standing still. 
He's a totally sweet guy. He's funny, and he's really smart. He knows a lot about Colonel Sanders. <gasps> Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in high school? <gasps> oh, wait. Yeah, these, these people are of age. That's right. That makes sense. <laughs> he's voted prom king? He didn't even go? Oh, he he was voted prom king in a school he didn't go to. Well, what the fuck is Japan doing? Alright, he he's in a convertible. Yeah. Yeah, pressure cooker. Either way. Either. Either. What, what do you guys think? Either or either? I think it's either. In this case. Either or? It's either or. No. It's either in this one because either is EA. Oh, yeah, take it slow with. We definitely connected yesterday. <laughs> I'm laughing at the implication that. You have an idea how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me his one of his secret ingredients? Oh, don't fuck this up. Come on. Is there a dramatic echo, echo, echo in here? How dare you? What is going on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. God damn it. Why did you fucking say something? Oh, God. Miriam. God damn it. What did you do? I think you're being very liberal with the meaning sp of spices here. Hmm. Yeah. I don't even fucking know this secret ingredient. Uh. What do you mean fake? I don't have the option to just not tell her. Game. This is stupid. You protect the senpai secret, for God's sake. Or... Oh, Jesus Christ. Is this gonna come back to bite me in the ass? Oh, sweet cherry blossoms, thank God. So we're definitely in, like, early spring. Get off your high horse. Run to him. Go. Run. Run. Run the colonel. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, Colonel, my Colonel. <laughs> oh, well, fuck. Ooh, kiss my ass. I am here to deliver you a message. It's a spooky message. Oh, not this guy again. Is it important? No. It is important that you remember this exactly as I say it. If you forget, the world could end, so you know it's serious. I've been trapped in a realm beyond, but a great prophecy relies on my return. Only you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name. We don't know his name. We don't name. Oh man. Colonel Sanders tending to me. Let's go. He roused you back to life with the satchel of secret spices. Or is that his natural season musk? I think it's musk.
Eeny, meeny, money, mo, catch a tiger, but so if y'all was go eeny, meeny, money, mo, money, mo, pick the very best one, and you are it. <laughs> wow. Oh, you've only known him for a day. Are you really sure? I guess you must be. Because why wouldn't you fucking kiss Colonel Sanders? I better not have screwed up the game. You put your arm around Colonel Sanders' neck and pull him in for a kiss. But he turns in face, and you awkwardly kiss his ear. You can feel him shudder. Too soon, you clearly mistook his compassion for love. Your soul cries inside of yourself. And that is not how it fucking is said, because I can't fucking read, because I'm recording the episode in the same day. It's just 10.30 this time. Your soul crawls inside of itself, and you instantly die of embarrassment. And you try again. Do I have to restart the whole fucking game? I swear to God, if I have to restart the whole fucking game, I'm going to eat shit and kiss everyone's ass, alright? Even Colonel Sanders, he could just bend me over, alright? He could bend himself over. We could do it at the same time and just kiss each other's ass. Because... Alright, good. We just started day two. Alright. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Speed run. Hmm. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Makeup fake. I am going to keep same storyline. I'm not going to do different ones. I'm just going to do a different one from when he <laughs> kills me. Uh, okay. So we're going to compliment the craftsmanship of his horse's shoes. I don't know why the fuck that's an option. That doesn't, like, why, why, why wouldn't you say thanks for saving me? You're like, wow, look at that, wow, whoa, horseshoe, look at, mm, quality. Maybe you shouldn't be riding a horse to school. <laughs> ah. But one thing is for sure, Colonel Sanders is pretty dreamy. That horse has beautiful shoes. I could really feel how smooth and sturdy they were when they were pressing into my face. That's nice to hear. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship anymore. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you can see two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are doing something bad. By the way, they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. Like counterfeiting recipes bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How fucking dare they? Whoa. Are they counterfeiting recipes? Experimenting with restricted ingredients bad? Whoa. Summon a demon bad? No, that's fine. You can summon a demon if you want. My waifu is a fucking demon, so that's totally fine by me. Summon a demon. Do it. No balls you won't. You try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulder. But he sees you coming. Yep. Did I do it? No. Whoa there, little one. I'm sure you're ready to handle this. Why don't you make like a bee and mine your own wax, honey? Act like you're not interested in them, but try and get a closer look. I'm just sitting near the rivals, but team, you're... Back turn or <laughs> it's time for class, and you're distracting the rest of us. Who wants to learn? Uh -huh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules. Stop being bitchy. Just flash your tits for fuck's sake. We all want to see him. I'm not sure you'd make... You... Wait, what? Breathe, Shane. Breathe. Stop having a mental breakdown. Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes... Pan... Panishy? What? Is that fucking English? Van Van, stop being evil. 
you finally get a look at what it is they were hiding and you instant yep mm-hmm spork monster book I knew it it was the same book and you beat the beat the beat the beat the beat Um, this book is Family Hi Heirloom. Yeah. <laughs> Taking a yawn while I'm laughing at what it that says. You notice that they haven't just been studying the book. They've tr They've got pop pinned to the wall. Thank you. Good job. No, that's fine. They, they can do that. Yay, Clank's here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. How? Van Van. Car car. Truck truck. SUV SUV. Calm down. Stop. You don't have to, like, be an asshole about this. Alright? You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. God, you fucking asshole. Who do you th I'm talking to fucking Van Van or Car Car or Truck Truck or SUV SUV or. <laughs> I need to stop. Womp womp. Damn. Stop being mean to Van. To Clank. Thank you. Thank you, Clank. Good job. Did you guys hear that too? Did you hear that moan as well? I heard that moan. Did you... Did you want that more of that? Would you like more of that? Oh, protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazy men are about to come to blooms. I think... I think it must be over me, but I'm not interested in either of them. Ashley's tone has changed in an instant. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop being an asshole. Damn. Colonel Sanders don't give two shits. Good job, Colonel. Students, students, please take your seats. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town, and my tiny legs are very, very tired. My two favorite characters are Colonel Sanders and Sprinkles. Best characters in the game. Yes. Can we? It's the scent left on you from Colonel Sanders. Yes. Sprinkles lick me. Down, boy. Down. Off toppin'. Is that... What language is this? I love this. This is beautiful. We need to... Windows. Print screen. Screenshot. That command shot by Colonel Sanders. Has snapped sprinkles out of his trance. I wonder what's up with that. Sorry, y'all. I'm carrying away. You know, the chicken. Mm. At the signing of the declaration, the chicken who first signed their name. Doubt. Like, All right. Fuck this game. I'm done. This is stupid. Then why am I playing this fucking game? See, if you guys didn't get the joke, they were saying that the first person to sign a Declaration of Independence was the chicken, and the first person to sign the um, Declaration of Independence was John Hancock, all fancy lettering, you know, it became a whole thing. Part of his last name is Cock. Cock is, like, technically a male chicken or some shit. I don't know exactly the term, but... You know, I just need to get that quick explanation in on why I just, like, don't want to play the game right now. But we're going to keep playing it because 
I don't want this to be like a 10 part series. This should be like two. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it'd be one. Uh, yeah, you always daydream about Colonel Sanders. Well, kiss my ass. <laughs> is that a question? Or is that a statement? <laughs> Naturally, this appears to you to be a simple platter. What item do you want to sample? Sample. Water. Mmm, yes. <gasps> I ate his water? Or drank his water? From the fucking toilet? I drank toilet water? Why do this to me? Uh... I love how, like, like Wendy's did this, too, I think. Or was it Arby's? No, it was Arby's. Arby's did this with the, like, Arby's waifu. Like, they didn't make a game out of it, but they made that, like, they're trying to appeal to fucking weeaboos. Like, I don't know what the fucking companies are doing. <laughs> the level of theatrics with these two is off the charts. Stop wasting my goddamn time. I keep telling her, she's got to flash her tits at some point, right? For God's sake. I'm more worried Van Van's going to flash before fucking Ashley. Kiss my ass, you should have it. It will give you the energy you need to succeed. Miriam reaches out and presents a gift to you. Why is it your hand? Why is it in your hand? What the fuck? Blasted from a disconnected light switch Through the condo that they never finish Bounce across the salty satellite dish Through your brain to California English You know what? I've learned a lot enough for today. Let's battle Just this thing's Reach a boiling point. Ha! Food pun. Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students. Settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sports in court. Sports in court? Like, you think you would know a little bit about it? Like, Sprinkles, like, you know... You're a dog chef. We don't call it a sports in court. Finally, all the sense, you breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer! Just then, a huge light blasts in you in the face, flashing the words timer ready. That's what I'm talking about. I'm stand corrected. Sorry. If it's a battle you want, it's a battle you'll get. My bestie can best the best of them. Miriam, you have to be cringy. You really have to be cringy. You, you green-haired slut. You have to be clean, cringy. Alright. Fine by me. Best believe it. Alright. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm fucking... It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. Oh, fuck. It's 100 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I know. Oh. How many herbs in spite? 10. It was 10. It was 11. Fuck. It was 11. Shit, 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 shit. What state of mind offers the most flavor? I don't know. Fucking gratitude. <gasps> now would be great. So, harness energy. Where does that come from? Deep blue, small town, where dreams are born. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what I'm pressing. 
You try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. What is the sound of success? Oh, <gasps> I got it. You notice Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe in you. Kiss my ass. He's actually cheering you on. Which would be awesome, except knowing he's watching you. Makes you totally forget what you're doing. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders. How many spoonfuls of gravy? Does it, what the? You went like 10 miles an hour! What do you mean? It's a f Shut up, dog! You were stranded on a desert island with one, only one dessert cookbook. Which do you take? Oh, for fuck's sake. What does that have to do? Yeah. Well, you got, I, can't, I can't even fucking read. Uh, word. <laughs> you might not have any hands, but kiss my ass does. And a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by going the easy way. When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand into the mixer to rescue your dough before it's over mixed. <laughs> Kiss my ass, no! But you're not fast enough and your hand gets... Colonel Sanders. Tisk tisk tisk. What you find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone stop what you're doing right now. The battle's over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply can't go on. No! That's too bad. Come please take me instead to get me to be the wind to fuck. No, no. Oh shit, Ashley, you just got fucked in the ass. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you've prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I get straight to the dumb fucking bits. What the hell is that? Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Colonel Sanders pours the cho hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Inside, you'll find a fried cheese crochet on top of sliced mango ice cream. Two ways that are new, get it, pearls of a blueberry delight. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed after he dips his finger in the chocolate sauce. Mm. Simplicity isn't your strong suit. Never was a cloudy day. Sorry, just just had to. All right. <gasps> As he places his sauce. Sauce. Um, give me a minute. As he places his sauce cover finger into his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab, sorry, of sauce sticks to his mustache. Put myself between Colonel Sanders and You reach out with your apron to wipe the sauce off his glistening face. Colonel Sanders recoils and brushes you back. This goatee isn't just a fashion statement. It's also functional. I was saving that flavor for later. Fuck this. I'm g Do I have to restart the fucking day?
Do I actually have to re restart the fucking game? Starting at this fight, whatever. Waste time. Oh, I have to go through the fucking quiz again. Uh, okay, it's a hundred degrees Celsius, and then there's eleven ingredients. Give me a hot minute. Sorry if there's a lot of pauses in this video. I'm texting and shit. You're going to need to season the chicken, but okay. There's 11. Tail wagging intensifies. It was... Was it gratitude? Yep. That's right. I know. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> My hand got crushed again. Oh, it said internalize. Your rage burns so intensely with your eyes that they burst in. Okay. Beautiful weather feels like an insult inside of you. A storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably good here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. And he won't even ask you to cater his wedding. Because you're a terrible chef and an awful fucking person. You fucking piece of shit, me. Why the fuck would you fucking fuck, fuck, fuck? You tried to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer. That small fire. Would you get that checked out? I'm fine. Deja vu. Can't you leave me alone? I'm a fucking loser. I'm not fi fit to fill your fucking fryer. I'll never be a fucking master chef. <laughs> Failure's a part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed in anything before? That's exactly what I fucking think. Fuck's sake. Fucking fuck, fuck, fucking fuck. <laughs> Well then, think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school. Incredibly handsome. Successful. Motivated. You also have the white hair that we all know and love. Well, handsome. Our fucking KFC closed in my neighborhood. <laughs> it closed like a couple months ago. It's an empty, vacant building. When the fucking Popeyes came in like a quarter mile away. 
I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. That one especially was humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I didn't know. People say my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard. And I assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it always hasn't been. Sounds like this guy could use a hug. I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No matter, no amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from being the best, from giving the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changed his focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. Ah! One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Pop, get the fuck out of here. No one fucking likes you. Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Fucking spark monster again. Hmm. That's Borco. No, I'm not sure. Let me just get student loan debt again. Let me use that. Can I use that attack, please? I would love to use the uh, student loan debt attack, okay? I think what Kiss My Ass is saying is can't we just be friends? <laughs> Life's too short for making enemies. I suppose we really don't need to fight. It's just that I've gotten these pointy teeth and claws. Don't blush. Don't blush in your monster blush. Uh, inspiration strikes and you come up with a quick idea. Chomp on this. Oh, I toss biscuit. Does it have nugget in it? <laughs> Delicioso. You're much nicer than the evil students who once... Upon a time, turn me into this creature. Wait, hold on, hold on. Evil student. Oh, shit. Was this, like, last week? Like, was this Ashley in those Van Van car car? Odyssey, Odyssey. <laughs> you were human? Wait, he was human? He was Chihuahua. But I was... Spell book. Oh, oh. Borco had copy. But somewhere long way, I lost it. If you find book, I beg you, strike it. I am happy to book. Ugh, spork monster. It sounds like there's some bad cooks in this kitchen of life. Kiss my ass. Together, I am sure we can defeat them. Oh, wait, it was another set. Never mind. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. Whoa. His hideaway? Oh, shit. A personal invite? You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Stepping inside Colonel Sanders' home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. I'm turning my heater on, it's cold down in my basement. It looks like you have such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. He does. Every day can be an adventure, if you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a side dish that I've been tinkering with. I'm trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy. Maybe both, perhaps. Perhaps. Now you got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him? Or keep it a secret just for you? Obviously you reveal it. You decide to, that you're ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. But if you can... <laughs> before you can talk to yourself out... <laughs> before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. I present to you... My original coleslaw. 
The shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' Lux hideaway. <gasps> Magnificent. Together, you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I like to have it around so that I can admire the, its taste later and think back on this moment. You could offer him to make more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. No, why, why would you do that? Around the room, there are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to discover more about the colonel. <gasps> Alright. Go and earn. Uh... To a closer look and earn. There's a plaque on it. Here lies the ashes of my past career some business fairs. Does he really have a fucking... Like, is this, like, accurate? Or is this, like, just plot? Discover more about Colonel. Yeah, that's... that's. Can chicken be prepared? Sash... Inisa? What? I can't recursive. What? Yeah, that's definitely Colonel Sanders. <laughs> yeah, who frames a picture of just themselves? Yeah. <gasps> you open the door to Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of signature white suits hanging within. You take one of off this hanger and try it on. The jacket is a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in its scent. They say that home is where the heart is. Is this what they meant? Before you can look further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he has been working on, and he wants you to taste it. You try to ask, act casual until you ask why... Until he asks you why you were wearing his jacket. Aww. I don't usually loan this out, but I must say, it does look good on you. Oh crap, this fucking jacket, fucking dumbass. Why the fuck would I keep fucking, fucking, fuck, fuck? I forgot to take it off. Tell me, cold. So you must say, I didn't mean to intrude. I was just a little cold, thought it might warm me up. Colonel Sanders smiles and scoots close to the fireplace. It's warm by the fire. Why don't you come a little closer? Suddenly, pineapples. Suddenly, everything feels like it's moving too fast. Final exams are tomorrow. You should be thinking about what you're doing. You're going to cook. I should be at home studying. Overwhelmed, you feel you take off the jacket and run for the door. But the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself. Colonel? Hmm. Yes, kiss my ass? I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. <gasps> you talk late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Dream sequence. You wake to a beautiful morning in Colonel Sanders' hideaway. Did you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders? Only time will truly tell. Today is the day that could change the rest of your life. Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast, and your mouth waters at the sight of it. Here's a simple breakfast I just whipped up. It's ridiculous. Yes, because we all want chicken for breakfast. With biscuits. Chicken for breakfast? Mm, 
take him down a peg? Could he be the world? Flatter him. Of course you flatter him. You know, I think we make might make a great team. A single peer. Fuck this. I can't fucking read. A single tear begins to pool in the corner of his eye as he gazes out the window. And with the right business partner, I know I can't fail. Business partner? Could you be talking about me? You? Me? It's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears. Unable to speak, the only answer you can find is to run out the door and get home. There's still one more day of school after all. The University of Cooking School Academy for Learning waits for no one. You f get home to find something very surprising. Your best friend is wait there waiting for you. Where have you been? I, I, what the, because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you about, desperate, what, what? You, fuck off. Something ha it's just, okay, it's just, you know, what the she. But now, that it turns out you're fine, I can finally get you up to speed on the saga of Miriam. I don't give a shit, sure, but, uh, she went on date. Please tell me with Clank. I think I can believe that. Yes! She's dead in Clank! Oh my fucking god! See, I told you I'm a matchmaker. See, I partnered her with Clank in episode one. That's what happens. Mmm, yeah. Ow. He's getting to know me. I can get to know the little metallic guy. Sorry, I have to screenshot this as well. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends. But things quickly spiraled out of control. Figures. Did he just say... Did she just say skydiving? Is this a... Yeah. Talking pressure cooker. You're like, let's go skydiving! You weigh more weight than you were... I, th I thought... I thought everything was chill. Oh, shit. Wowzers. Why do I have to, like, why is that a selection? Like, why don't I pick, like, one thing that's gonna happen? Together with your Bessie, you feel like you can do anything. When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop. Though he himself might not quite grasp that fact. I don't think he does. I don't think he understands what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Me. Me. This guy's retarded. I swear to God, what's a swirly? It sounds delicious. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. You can't get your swirly dip too. <laughs> oh God. Mmm. Damn, I am fucking burning him. Now you clench your fist, but the injury from yes. Oh no. Yeah, I will never fucking give up. Stop with the cooking puns! Colonel Sanders arrives just as things are getting hot. A naturally intuitive person, he senses that something has been going on. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Kiss my ass. How's that hand feeling? <laughs> I'm sure you'll be back fighting by in fighting form by this afternoon. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? It's not his broken nail winning so hard. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm telling you, you gotta flash your tits or else nobody's gonna give a shit about you. Technically, I don't believe a winner is this was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing complimenting her? God, fucking, fucking asshole. 
But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate salt? It was, it, it was, it's, yeah, it was clear that you're passionate about how the food is received. That's a lot of words to say. It was bland. It was fucking bland. Excuse me, kiss my ass? I am more capable enough to speak for myself. Why the fuck would I say that? I'm stupid. Maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine art of fine foods. See you inside. Kiss my ass. Annoyed by Colonel Santos' inability to see Ashley's for Ashley for who you know she really is, you walk across the quad to get some distance. In an attempt to distract yourself from how slighted you feel, slighted, yeah, I fucking said it right, and I'm fucking pissing me off. You feel that by that interaction with Ashley, you take out the spell book you recover from. <gasps> from yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Whoa, that's the book! It looks like bad news. Just something I found lying around. It would appear to be some sort of green. Grind, grind me or fuck I'm probably gonna have to learn that word in fucking English this year but I don't really believe in that magic stuff book of spells I don't know there's only one surefire way to find out you open to a page covered in arcane cane mornings cast only in case of extreme emergency it says around the edges of the page I can use this spell here that says to erase anyone I choose from all my memories. If I could scrub out Colonel Sanders, it'd probably help me focus better on the final exam. That is way drastic. Couldn't you do something else like anything else? Not rooted in dark magic. Maybe tie a string around your finger? Okay, fine. It is drastic, but desperate times call for desperate measures. You've got a memory erasing spell sitting in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out all right so that is going to do it for episode two of colonel sanders i love you colonel sanders i think is the official name for this game if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next video later guys From a disconnected light switch Through the condo that did never finish Bounce across a sunny satellite dish Through your brain to California English